So now that we have this, that first ponytail, we're going to insert the string so that it will go to the middle part. And we're going to do the next one. So for the other string, insert it so that it will go to the other side. Okay. So you need to pass it through here. And then we're going to form the other ponytail. String one pink and eight black ones. Okay. Insert your string to this pink one to form the other ponytail and insert the string to a series of beads so that it will go to the base cluster of five because then we're going to put the this handle part. So, put your string to the base cluster of five. Okay. To form the handle part. That is the connector to the to the jump ring. Okay. Can you see that? You need to put the string in between two beads for the base cluster of five. And then, we're going to string eight pink. Five. Six, seven, eight. Since we have string this, eight pink beads, we're going to go on the other side for the other string, passing it along all of the eight. So that it will look like this. Okay? okay. So since we have these eight glass beads to form the loop, we're going to pinch this, the thread, so that it will, that we can have both of the ends. We're going to insert this to the middle hole of the base cluster of five. So that it will go to the middle, passing through the inner part of the hair. Can you see that? And here's where we're going to put the glass beads for the head. So I'm going to use this biggest one. Pass it through here. So now we have the head with the hair and the ponytail. Okay, so now we're going to put the neck part. So that is going to be white. So you need to pass through one white bead through both strings to form the neck. And then we're going to put 
two white ones on the right string and then two white two pink ones that's pink this is going to be the shirt part of the doll and what we're going to do is we're going to knot this so you can see both ends of the string we're going to knot this two times so that it will be sturdy see and we're still going to use both strings for the remainder of the hands and the legs and the skirt part is is in another string okay so now we have this we're going to form the leg part first. So, what you can do is that you can cut your string so it will be even. Then insert white one to both string. <coughs> going to catch up with you after this. Okay, the skirt part is in a separate string. What we're going to work on is the leg part. That's the shoes. Then we're going to insert the string. So it will go here for the arms part and the hands. So now that we're here, we're going to use one string first. We're going to insert 10 white beads. For this one, I just used 8, so it's a little bit short. So in order for it to be like this, you need to insert 10. So, insert 10 white glass beads. 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine, ten. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to put three pink ones for the shoe part and then we're going to insert the string through all of the ten white beads. Okay? Passing it through back backwards. You have to insert it to all of the ten. You have to pull it to form it. So also insert it to this one white one in the middle and also to this one pink one for the right side. So here is where we're going to start the arm part. So now we have this. So that's also what we're going to do for the other side. We're going to string 10 white beads plus 3 pink. And then you're going to insert it backwards, passing through all of the 10. Okay? Catch up with you after that. <laughs> 